comes to data viz, not much beats Python. However, for some applications, a lot remains to be desired. In particular, animations, how to make data move with the time. At this point, it's almost all driven by the matplotlib library, and it's just clunky and not that much fun to use. One key feature that's implemented great in Python, but not particularly well in the animation libraries, is interpolation. Now if you just jump from point A to point B, it looks gross. That's not animation, that's a slideshow. Linear interpolation is one step above, where you move between the two points evenly, but it's still not that fun. We want our animations to feel corporate smooth and poppy. For that we need power interpolation. This is like the stuff you see from After Effects, the things that gig economy is driving every single person to make all the time. For power interpolation, the higher the exponent, the more it resembles no interpolation actually, so it's more poppy. Taking a closer look at these represented as time series functions, you see that the no interpolation case looks like a step function, the linear case looks like a nice smooth ramp, and this nice handsome fellow is the power interpolation. It gives it that nice sigmoid pop. Moving on to what this looks like with a real visualization, uh, without interpolation it looks junky as all hell. Adding linear interpolation to that looks okay, you get this creepy crawly thingamajig, but it's really when we add power interpolation to this over time. Uh, that's when you really get that nice, organic, pulsing feel. It feels so natural. It feels so right. So yeah, that's multiple options with the same bar chart. And this is what those interpolations look like as time series charts. And this is what it looks like applied to real data. Using our newfound power interpolation, we're going to plot the totality of dead in violent conflict in Africa. But we're going to give it that cool, smooth corporate look as well. We can expand on this by showing the evolution of the distribution of violent conflicts throughout Africa. This in and of itself shows that actually most don't have any fatalities. Of course we can expand this method of interpolation to two dimensions, and we're getting closer and closer to that ADD hellscape of motion that we've wanted all this time. Now let's look at some two-dimensional data over time, where we plot the single most deadly event in Africa over time where the size scales with the number of dead. Now I haven't shown you one line of code, and that's sort of intentional. All of the things you need to make these graphs are located in the repo attached in the comments. But I will highlight how this works. Basically, it's a class that takes a number of arguments. Then you call an interpolation function on that class, which returns your desired interpolated path. What's great about this is it's built from the ground up to be parallelized, so you can do things like plot all the African conflicts that claimed more than 100 lives over time, and eventually wrap everything up together in one nice cohesive graph that includes multiple types of interpolated animations. Alright, that just about does it. Follow the links below for the repo necessary to reproduce everything you saw here, as well as interactive animations on my website. Thank you all very much for watching, I'll see you next time.